what's up guys? Hey, what's up guys? Hey, what's up guys? Austin back with another video. Now, you should really take a look at how I'm standing right now. I'm in my kitchen, but what I've got for you guys today is a video about food. Now, I get asked all the time, Austin, what can I do to be healthier? What can I eat to be healthier? Well, there's a simple answer to that. The more whole plant foods you can include in your diet, the healthier you will be. Simple as that. Now, the problem though with whole plant foods in the form of like starches and grains and vegetables is that they take some preparation, some cook time in order for us to be able to actually eat them. And humans in general are, you know, we're pretty lazy. We don't like to do things. We'd rather just have it ready so we can just eat it right away and not have to think about it. So that is where the whole meal prepping idea comes into play. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to prep some sweet potatoes. Now sweet potatoes are awesome. They're a great food that you can add to a variety of different dishes. They're very versatile. You can use them in a lot of stuff and they're great to have around. But you know, we can't just go around eating raw potatoes. That's wrong. So potatoes need to be cooked, but cooking takes time. And so the most efficient way to cook potatoes is to try to cook them in a big batch. And that's what we're going to do today. And the goal of this video really is to just show you how simple it is. You know, when I talk to people about following a more plant-based diet, a vegan diet, everyone's like, whoa, it's just mm, too much preparation for me. Prepping things like sweet potatoes and other starches, other vegetables, things like that, it's not that tough. And so today we're going to see just how easy it is to prepare some sweet potatoes so that you know how to make them so you can have them on hand throughout the day. That way you're more likely to eat something good for you, whole plant food, sweet potatoes, than something bad for you, something processed, something that you can just, you know, cook up real or just pop in the microwave or just eat it real quick. You know, we want to try to avoid those processed foods. Whole plant foods, that's where it's at. So with these sweet potatoes, I've got about 1,500 grams of sweet potatoes right here. That's going to come out to be about 1350 as far as calories go. So a little over 1,300 calories. You add 200 gram servings to whatever meal you're doing, that serves you for about you know seven meals worth of sweet potatoes, which is awesome. Oh, my knees are cramping up from holding this position. So I've got some tips on how to best prep sweet potatoes because they do take a little bit of prep, but there's a way to make it quick. And after experimentation after experimentation, I think I finally got it down. So first off, you're going to need a sharp knife. Sweet potatoes are rough. They're tough to cut. So if you have a sharp knife, it's going to make your life easier. Now, the second tip, as far as cutting goes, I think too many people try to cut sweet potatoes into too small of pieces. When you're trying to cut this, you know, this tough thing into really tiny pieces, not only is that very time consuming, but it requires a lot of pre precise cuts. Whereas I find that it's best to cut these into just big old pieces. So my method of doing that, take your sweet potato. First up, cut it in half, best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now from here, you're almost ready to go. Now just take each of these halves and cut it into, you know, a couple chunks. So notice the size of these. They're like, they're palm, they're they fit right in the palm of your hand, but they're not like super teeny tiny. Again, that took me three cuts to get those pieces. Again, big cut, big cut, boom, ready to go. And so now all you have to do is do that for all these potatoes right here. So this is the boring part where we're going to fast forward and add some music and you're going to watch me cut these potatoes. Guys, I'm literally on my knees because I just I cannot hold that stance anymore. If I want to do any other kitchen videos, I think I have to find a different way on how to uh, how to set up for it. Because right now with that cabinet, the whole being tall thing, it's not happening. So um, anyway, this is me kneeling, and here are the potatoes. Time to prep them. We've got a big bowl right here. Obviously, you need a big bowl if you're going to mix a lot of stuff. So part two or three, throw them in. Thank you. 
Sweet, now they're in the bowl. And now it's time to add the secret sauces. It's not really any sort of secret sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this. So, oil, it's a fatty food. There's a lot of calories in oil. You know, just in general, to live a healthy lifestyle, you don't need a lot of oil in your diet. Now, in my case, where you know I'm eating a substantial amount of calories every day, extra calories in the form of oil and the potatoes is not going to be a big deal. So, but for this batch, for that 1,500 grams, I just do about you know three tablespoons of olive oil, and that's just enough really to coat the potatoes, just to coat them. So, some people like to eyeball it. You know, I just break out the uh, tablespoon measurement just because why not? Take it off. There we go. And now the last part of the secret sauce, salt, pepper. Now I'm not a big salt guy. I, I just don't, like I just don't add a lot of salt to stuff. Um, so let's do the salt first. Just do a little bit, you know, just a little bit. So just a little pinchy pinch for all those potatoes, just a pinchy pinch. That's all, that's all I throw on, that's all you really need, especially if you're mixing it in with other foods. You know, if you like salt, you can add a little salt to your meal once it's all done. But, you know, if you're just roasting potatoes, you don't need to throw on a crap ton of salt before you even put them in the oven. After that, black pepper. I just sprinkle on a lot. Like, black pepper is just so good. I, you really can't go wrong with it. So, you know, a few seconds of sprinkle, sprinkle. And now we just gotta mix it up in the bowl. You guys are about to be unreal jealous. Check these out. Bear Claw Mixers. So, use these or your lame tongs or utensils to mix up the potatoes with the oil, with the salt. Just claw them around and get them all coated up. All right, and once they're all coated up, just wipe off your claws and we're ready for the oven. All right, and of course you gotta preheat your oven, so we've got this preheat to a whopping 370. Now at this point you're like, what? 370? Why not 375? Why not 350? Why not 400? And this brings me to the real question of this video. Why is it that for every recipe, anything you look at, the number for the oven always ends in either 25, 50, 75, or 0? While every oven has the ability to adjust for every 5 degree increments, and so because of that, I tested it out, and that's right, 370 works awesome for these potatoes. To give them a nice crisp on the outside, but cook them all the way through, 370 is the way to go. Go against the grain. You know what? Just give it a try and see how it works out. Okay, so oven set to 370. Let's go ahead and grab the potatoes, and now we put them on the pan. And now since they're oiled up, they can go directly right onto the baking sheets. Boom, just like that. And now, throw all your crap in the sink. I'm gonna need those bear claws back. Or just one. So grab your bear claw, or your tongs. Spread these out. I think a general logical rule of cooking, even if you've never cooked anything, is you probably don't want stuff sitting on top of each other. So just spread them out. Looks pretty good. Spread them out, other one. Looks pretty good, and we are ready for the oven. Don't burn yourself. Ooh. Boom. Close that up, and we're gonna, we're gonna go for 20 minutes. Now wait a second, 20 minutes? That's not enough time. Well, that's correct, it's not enough time. But we're gonna start with 20 minutes, flip them, and then do another 20. So right now, we wait. So I was thinking we could talk for 20 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. We'll fast forward. Alrighty, 20 minute timer has gone off. Time to take these puppies out. I just realized I said puppies and uh, but never put a puppy in an oven. Come on. So now we mix these up. Nothing fancy. Oh, do you need to flip every one perfectly over? That's what usually recipes say, but who has time to flip every single potato over perfectly? So, you know, just move them around, flip some. Maybe you won't flip them all, but it's all gonna be okay. 
Other one, little bit of flippy floppy. Back in the oven they go for another 20 minutes. And you know what that means? That means you get to go hang out, do whatever you want for 20 minutes. So go have fun. Alrighty, the grand finale. Here they are. Cool. Check those out. They look like they were handcrafted by a master chef. But instead they were crafted by me. And boom, just like that, with just a little bit of prep time, we just made some sweet potatoes. 1,300 calories worth of sweet potatoes. For the average person, that's going to last a few days, even if you throw in some with every meal. Now, for me, that's going to last about two days. But regardless, at least that's two days where I don't have to worry about making them again. I think a big problem people have with eating more whole plant foods is that the prep that goes into them if you're making just small little batches of, you know, potatoes or vegetables or rice or things like that, and you're not making big batches, then you're constantly having to do that prep process, which can be daunting, and then in the end we just say, screw it. And now with those sweet potatoes, you can add them to, you know, salads and rice and whatever you make. You've got them now. So I hope this video helps to show you guys how easy it can be to prepare these types of foods. You know, I try to make these like just no-brainer type of videos. Chop it up, you know, put on some salt and pepper, pop them in the oven, and there you have it. I had a fun time making this. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you gave this some I hope it <laughs> I hope it gave you some inspiration to make some sweet potatoes of your own. So let me know down in the comments if you're gonna go make some sweet potatoes tonight. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next video.